Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Okay, so the disc brake conversion is going very, very well. Um, I got all the brakes in, uh, the rotors, the calipers, everything in the front. That's already done, pulled off all the old stuff too. So next I got to put in the master cylinder. So with this step, we're going to bleed the master cylinder on this one. On this video, I'll show you how to bleed it with the, with the parts that are applied or supplied with the CSRP <clears throat> package. And uh, we'll go ahead and get started with this. And after that, the next video will be the installation. Okay, we're back at the bench. And here's some of the tools and everything that we're going to use for this bleed. So we have a half inch, a 9 sixteenths. These are the two um, bleeding lines that were supplied with the kit. I really like this so that way you don't have to, you know, put some hoses in here and put it in there and make sure you don't need anything else. This comes with it. You don't have to worry about that. So we're just going to go ahead and jump into it. I'll explain as we go. So first of all, we got to pop this guy off. There we go. There we go. You can see in there. Okay. So the back, the front is actually, the front reservoir, the front reservoir is the back and the front res, and the back reservoir is for the front brakes. So back brakes, front brakes, for some reason it's like that. So after you take off the cover, you can use these guys. And what we're gonna do is we're actually going to put them where these plugs are. We're gonna take off the plugs. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go ahead and take these out. Now here's one of them. I've already bent it the way I needed to for now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna thread this on first. Okay. Not all the way, but just enough, right? And then it's bent up enough so that way it doesn't hit the reservoir. And then we're gonna put this one back on. There we go, come on, there we go. Okay, so that's on there. So let's get the half inch. Let's tighten this up. It doesn't need to be super tight. Just tighten up so that way it doesn't leak. Then we'll bend this back down into the reservoir. Okay. And then tighten this guy up. You know what, we're getting a smaller wrench. Okay, and the same thing with this one. So let's put this on here. So for now, I'm just gonna bend it up just enough. There we go. There we go. Let's tighten this guy up. I think we can use a half inch over here. Nope. Okay, see so you seven sixteenths. There we go. And over here, just try three eighths. There we go. So seven sixteenths, three eighths. This guy is a nine sixteenths, and this is the half inch here. Push this back into the reservoir. There we go. Okay, so we're in the reservoir. Now, I wanna fill this guy up with some fluid. Now for my application, I'm using dot three. Um, dot three and dot four different fluids basically it's just the temperature that which it boils so for higher pressure um or lower pressure lines so for me i just need dot three so i'm going to fill this guy up and we're going to go uh, two-thirds of the way there we go okay so i'm going to turn this around so we can see now normally you would have this in a vise so that way it doesn't flop around 
Um, I don't have a vice right now. I have one, but it's not installed yet. So next what we gotta do is we gotta use the push rod to be able to push into here and then all the bubbles basically coming out. Okay, so I move ahead, I went ahead and moved this. Okay, so I went ahead and moved this to the floor here. So I get a little bit. Okay, so I moved this down here to the floor. So I get a little bit better leverage and um, I'm gonna put the dowel in and just start pumping away. A little slow. You can see the bubble still in there. So you just gotta be careful. Just keep going. So all the bubbles are out. Okay, I think I got all the bubbles out. It's been about four or five minutes. I'm just going back and forth. And as I go, the fluid is going, but no more bubbles. So we're good. Let's get this back to the bench. Okay, so the master cylinder's bled. Next, we wanna go ahead and take off these bleeding lines and replace the caps. So, one at a time, I am going to make sure I have this here because I don't wanna get brake fluid everywhere. There we go. I'm gonna go three eighths. go and then we have our have our caps here now put that in there we go there's one our half inch no oh, seven sixteenths Okay, so we got most of it, um, all the bubbles out. I'm gonna fill this up pretty good now. Back up to just under the top. There we go. <clears throat> and put our cap back on. We will not have to open this back up anymore. So careful not to spill it. And we're good. Master cylinder is now bled. Then we'll get it installed in the car. That's for me on next video. Hey, thanks for watching. We're gonna get the rest of this in the car, but make sure you watch the next video, like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.